What is process mining? Process mining helps streamline the process of improving business process flows by highlighting hidden inefficiencies. Instead of blindly trying to automate and improve your workflows, ServiceNow's in-platform process mining solution allows an organization to understand how processes interact with each other, identify bottlenecks, and then make smart decisions about how to improve them. This quick demonstration will introduce you to how. Many organizations run the business with dashboards just like this one, tracking critical KPIs and how they are trending towards the goals we've set for ourselves. But when KPIs start to trend in the wrong direction, understanding why and how to improve them isn't always easy and obvious. This is where process mining comes in. For example, if we see our MTTR is trending in the wrong direction, in a single click, we can drill down to the process mining workspace to get a better understanding of some of the inefficiencies and more importantly, the opportunities to improve. In the process mining workspace, we are immediately presented with both AI and driven and rule-based improvement opportunities, categorized by the type of opportunity and the KPIs that they impact. For example, the engine will call out situations where work is repeating steps in the process, ping-ponging between teams, or perhaps going through an additional step all things that would be slowing us down. Or this one specific example here, where we have a number of tickets that are bouncing in and out of the awaiting call or info state. And probably the most important piece of information here is this 42 years worth of total inefficiency, 42 years worth of total productivity time that is just packaged up and things moving in and out of the awaiting call or info state. Even if we can just reclaim 1% of that 42 years, that's gonna be a win for us from an organizational perspective. So now that we understand the opportunity and probably more importantly, the magnitude of that opportunity, let's dive deeper to see if there are ways to reclaim some of that time. So from here, we'll be able to drill into the analyst workbench to continue that conversation with our process data. Inside of the analyst workbench, we're able to get a better understanding of how work is moving in and out of that awaiting caller info state. And then what we can do is we can start to use our breakdowns on the left-hand side of the screen to further slice and dice these incidents, maybe by assignment group, by priority, by category. Very often when we start thinking about things going into the awaiting caller info state, we can start to look at, or we should start to look at, the intake channel, because if we can improve that intake experience, perhaps we can reduce the need to go back to the user for additional information. So what we can see here is that we have a large volume of the incidents that are going into the awaiting caller info state coming from self-service and portal. But look at this email channel. There's 1,200 incidents coming in via email that go into the awaiting caller info state. And more importantly, look at the average duration. There's a whole additional week of time packaged up in incidents that come in via email and go into the waiting caller info state versus those top two channels. Kind of makes sense. Email is a pretty unstructured channel. You'd expect some back and forth, but a whole week, we know we can do better than that. So let's just isolate it down to those 1,200 incidents coming in via email. And now what can we do next? Well, perhaps we can use this histogram to start looking at and focusing in on the instances that are coming in and going into waiting call info two times, three times, or four. We can start to analyze where that work is coming from and where that work is going to, or we can dive deeper from an investigative perspective and drill down to the detailed records behind this and get a better understanding of what's actually happening within them. It's a huge advantage of an in-platform based process mining solution is the ability to get to those detailed records themselves because a lot of the actionable information lives within the work notes of those records. We could use some root cause analysis to help us get a better understanding of some of the key contributing factors that are driving these incidents that are waiting for info state. Or we could use some additional platform machine learning capabilities to start to harvest some of the gold that lives in that unstructured data, the short descriptions and the descriptions and what we see here is that we have a cluster of incidents that are coming in via email and going into a waiting caller info that are just people trying to update their email address in their profile. That's something that we should have a self-service option for, a service catalog item or a virtual agent conversation. And even if we do have those things, perhaps we just need to market them a little bit better to reduce the number of people sending emails in about that because that's slowing us down. So now that we've identified this opportunity, what do we do next? Well, 
We could add a note here to have somebody look at this and they would get a notification. They would click on a link inside of that notification, click this preview button, and it would take them to the exact same place in the analysis that, that we were so they could continue to dive deeper if they needed to. Or we could link this insight to a continual improvement initiative that's out there or create a new continual improvement initiative to ensure that this opportunity that we found gets tracked, prioritized, and followed up on. Closing the loop from a continual improvement experience perspective inside of organization, holding people accountable, and making sure that we act on these valuable opportunities that we're finding with process mining.